I don't use any hormones. So, Oh, good. I mean, I, Yeah. no, 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 no. Uh, diet, absolutely. Diet, diet, lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you, if you are not able to synthesize the, uh, the steroids, the estrogen or, or the testosterone, a lot of women are told to take testosterone because they're tired or they don't have a good libido. Why? Because testosterone is associated with virility in males. Although, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't understand why a woman would be told to take testosterone because it's associated with virility in males. Women make testosterone through the steroid hormone cascade, cascade anyway, and it is on an as-needed basis. All the steroid hormones are synthesized on an as-needed basis. But if you're constantly stressed, if your cortisol levels are really high, you won't be synthesizing those hormones because the cortisol is all the way to the left next to progesterone and the estrogen and the testosterone all the way to the right. You can't get over there. And the uh, the enzymes that actually do the synthesis, aromatase, uh, which is turns the androgens into the estrogens, um, is reduced with high cortisol levels. Mm. So it's Yeah. just not happening. So if you change lifestyle and you change, if you add the fat that you, you eat the fat, that is, which is the raw material to make the hormones in the first place, and then you reduce stress, which I guess would be lifestyle changes, And you also reduce carbohydrate, remove carbohydrates, which high, high, you know, sugar we know causes higher glucose, glucose levels, high cortisol levels, right? So then you're sort of, you're, you're addressing the hormones just that way. Why add hormones? You're, if you're adding hormones, you're adding synthetics. So yams and all the things that they make the, uh, the synthetic, the bioidentical hormones out of. are xenoestrogens, millet, yams, cassava. These are xenoestrogens. It's not the cholesterol that your cholesterol derived steroid hormones that your body's looking for, that all those receptors in your body are looking for. One young man, he was 19 years old and his testosterone was, I mean, it was just bottomed out. It was, um, it was about a, like 120, it was just tiny. Just absolutely. I mean, he should have been had testosterone pouring out of his ears at that age. And, um, and yet, you know, very low. If you went to sort of a traditional doctor, you'd be like, oh, well, you're in you know, primary testicular failure. You're just, you know, you're just not, you're just not going to make testosterone. You're going to have to be on testosterone the rest of your life. And there are people like that. Um, there are, there's like Stan Efferding is a you know, professional bodybuilder. That was his story. He was 19. He's in college. He's working out all year and just not getting any gains in the gym. He's just a skinny kid. And um, went to the doctor and his testosterone was almost nothing. So I go, oh, okay, here you go. Put him on testosterone. And then of course he figured that if he took testosterone, he'd get results. And if he took a lot more testosterone, he'd get a lot more results. And he became a, um, you know, a, a sort of a steroid abusing um, bodybuilder, you know, as you know, openly talks about it. And, um, but I mean, imagine that the, the course of his life, how different that would be if his doctor just said, Hey, you know, what are you eating? Are you drinking too much? You're a freshman in college. Of course you are. You know, let's, let's focus on what you're, what you're doing to your body and see if we can fix that. When I put this kid on a carnivore diet and he didn't even, didn't even do it all the way. You know, he still had cheat days and still had some rice every now and then, but just eating a lot more meat and cutting out most everything else. And most of the carnivore, most days is, his testosterone jumped up to 400. in two months, you know, I mean, it was nothing, it was, it was no time at all. It was just, you just literally just it, uh, removing the impediments to your body. You just drop the anchor and let your body get on with it. And that, I, I much prefer that approach as well.